Allison Miller, and where am I? I'm in Chicago at Reverb.com, and I'm super excited. Today we're going to talk about basically taking the drum kit, which I see as an orchestra of percussion instruments, and preparing it in a way to come up with new sounds, combinations of sounds, layers of sounds, uh, concepts that I'm constantly exploring to see if I can come up with new things. I mean, literally most of the things I've come up with are when I'm actually playing a gig live and I hear something or I want, I want a sound and I'll just search for it. And it could be, you know, I've grabbed beer bottles before anything, anything I see. Like you were telling me to play this True Value bag, like I would totally play that or play the plastic water bottle or some, like a mistake will happen. Like a couple months ago I was playing my drum and this hit my drum and it was a great sound and so I just went with it and I, I did like it basically killed my back but I did like a whole solo like this with my necklace on the drum and also being in the studio and a lot of times they want real drums but they want it to have this not electronic sound but almost like a loop sound so I'll come up with certain sounds that I feel like give it this layered effect to give it a different sound, you know? Like that's how I started doing my gong on my snare. It's because I wanted, I wanted to have that double sound at the same time. I'm also a huge Prince fan, so one of the things I love about him and his production is that he would have two snare sounds panned with different pitches, or he'd have like a drum machine and a real snare, and I love that. So I, I'm constantly trying to emulate that on the kit. And it depends on where it is. Like if I have it over here, obviously the, t the, the overtones of the floor tom get involved too. Like if you're really listening, you can hear the over this low end. And then if I put it on my snare, it not only affects the sound of my snare, you know what I mean? Tightens it up, a little bit of higher pitch. But then I can also really, you know, um, can really go in between there, play around. I think the snare drum is one of the most, it's like the greatest invention in the history of our civilization, basically. <laughs> but because it has, you have the snare sound, but then you have this beautiful open sound. And I play, I like to incorporate the use of the hands and kind of get combinations using hands and sticks or hands and brushes. And then different things, and, and uh, I use, I'll use my bracelets to get dirt, certain sounds. I've got this brush, I love brushes, and um, I've taped a little bit of moon gel on one side just to give me a little leverage. And I can do things like, so we have this sound, we have this sound, hand on brush, and having, it, having the moon gel taped to the one side of the brush gives it a little bit of flap that I like. Um, we have open tone. We have closed tone, and then we have fingers. And you can throw, throw the, uh, this guy on, and it even changes everything there.
but these are these are amazing. These are this guy um, Dave Deming, and he makes these he hand makes these sticks called Dem sticks, <laughs> and uh, they're amazing. They're bamboo, and uh, one thing I like to do is take um, another thing like layering sounds is I'd like to take both sticks and play. So it's like. It almost sounds like a, a sloppy marching band, you know? <laughs> like a couple drummers, I love it. These are, this is a uh, quarter. Um, and it's okay if there's a little air coming out. Like these are, these are, these are I can insert these pretty easily. Um, but it's best if there's no air. That's when they sound the best. But this is pretty, this is fine. Yeah, and so I just use it like while I solo. Thank you for watching me and all of my quirky little toys that I like to play with on the drums. And these are just my ideas and the, my kind of, uh, I like to call it cosmic euphoria that I, adventures that I like to go on. And I encourage you to go out there and try different things with your drums or your guitar or whatever. You know, I just encourage you to explore and have fun with it and come up with your own ideas.